pie. I should probably start with saying that yes, I am completely and entirely copying an old best dress video. However, I can assure you that she probably won't be bothered by a random British 15 year old with mediocre editing skills, worse camera quality and considerably less subscribers copying her video idea. And might I add, she linked the song in her description, so she's basically asking for it. Anyways, 2021. What an incredible year. It was just great. If you were to ask me, I'd say 2021 was probably the worst year of my life. And that is not me over exaggerating, because if I was to assume that I probably had over 30 mental breakdowns, a couple of hair colour changes and a COVID diagnosis or two. I think I definitely came into 2021 with like a mindset of it already being the best year of my life, but with literally like no plan to make that happen or zero character development from the year before. So I can only blame myself, but I'm still the type of person that's just gonna blame all my issues on the patriarchy, coronavirus, and the fact that my parents think my phone causes every deadly disease to walk the planet. In January, we were in a national lockdown where I spent most of my days trying not to fall asleep on a Zoom call and dressing up as if I was going to the Oscars, literally just to go on a walk to the park closest to my house. It snowed, which led everyone in England to be in a three-day state of euphoria and then fall back into a national depression after it melted away, and my mother lost her mind and turned into a bird whisperer. In February, I went through my seasonal Minecraft phase where I ended up building an entire city in Minecraft with my friends. And then one of my friends blew up my favorite building, so I deleted the game out of sadness. And I actually filmed a TV show, which had way too many famous people in it for my social relevance, and I ended up making some pretty cool friends. March was like kind of an elongated February, except we went back to school and I turned into Doc Strange and predicted a future mental breakdown. Honestly, April was like really good, apart from me nearly murdering my cactus. Um, but I met up with loads of my friends, went on plenty of picnics, and I got a fringe. In May, I was put through the most horrific experience of having to do rock climbing for my GCSE PE sport, and I will gladly say I'm never going near rocks by choice ever again. Being honest here, I think June is where my life began to decline rapidly in the luck factors, as I literally walked face first into a tree and I still have the scar on my forehead. I don't think anything detrimental happened in June, but I remember it being a not great month, but I remember that being plenty of good pass too. July was honestly a great time. I played more Minecraft and ate Colin the Caterpillar cakes at lunchtime. I also had my birthday trip to London, which was just free therapy in itself. I went to a really, really bougie restaurant where I felt like I did not belong there. Um, and me and my sister rode our bikes around Hyde Park, like the main characters that we are. I feel like everyone in August was living this like dream summer that I definitely did not have. To be fair, I don't think I made the effort to like try and make it anything crazy, but I mean, I've learned for next year. I'd actually possibly like push it to the point of saying that my September was better than my August. I went back to London and I got my hair braided and I just had everything that I wanted and needed at that point in time. The start of October is definitely where it began to go downhill. I really it didn't enjoy school and all I wanted to do was sleep all day. But towards the end of the month, during like the Halloween holiday, I kind of dragged myself out of it a bit. But I think that is due to my very, very cool friends. And I graffitied my entire bedroom wall, which I think is pretty badass, but it also stank for like a good week, so. November was a very weird time because I think I was stuck in some like weird medium between being like really, really happy and really, really sad. And I think it just fluctuated very, very um, drastically throughout the month. So there's not really an overall, but there was some really good parts of the month. Like, for example, remember that TV show that I filmed in February? Well, yeah, that came out and I was on the television, which was very, very weird. And that leads us to December. I started the month with COVID, which I think was already a great start. Um, I followed it up with a trip to London again once I was out. And then once I returned, I fell into the deepest depression that I think I've ever been in my life. Um, I was just sad all day, every day, and it was the worst thing you could have imagined. But actually about only a week ago, I decided to do something about it. I decided that's not what I wanted for myself. So I started making changes 
I started running 2Ks every single day. I read books. I cleaned my room every day so it never got bad enough to be messy. And I started listening to happier music, which you would think wouldn't make much of a difference, but it definitely does. I listened to Emma Chamberlain's podcast every single day on a new topic on how I could improve myself. And guess what? It began to work. I started baking and cooking. Um, I tried to do something creative every single day, whether it was writing something or filming a video or painting. I even started meditating, which sounds so stupid, but I gave it a try and it was actually kind of cool. <laughs> And now here I am on December 28th, 2021, three days until the new year, making this video as my creative thing for the day. And I'm happy. I'm excited to be living life. And this year I've got a plan on how I'll make 2022 the best year so far. And I've got my career development and I'm ready. 2021 was horrible, but it taught me so much. And of course there's gonna be bad days, but there's also gonna be really, really good ones. I hope that if you're watching this, you take the time to really make a plan on how you're gonna be happy next year. And I hope you all know you're very, very truly capable of it. If I'm capable of it, anyone is. I love you all and I hope you all have an amazing new year and I hope 2022 is everything you dream it to be and more.